So as a lot of you are aware, the Texas grid has been under an incredible amount of pressure the last uh, 24 hours or so. Uh, over two and a half million Texans are without power. Uh, a lot of this was a result of just the extreme weather conditions. Electric heating is super energy intensive on top of uh, failing generation assets like generators and wind turbines because of how cold the weather was on top of a record amount of demand. Um, so it's been a crazy 12, 12 to 24 hours, um, but I'm gonna walk you guys through how my home survived the storm with solar and Tesla Powerwall and how I had about four or five outages that occurred in my neighborhood to which I woke up to a few Facebook posts uh, about it, but I had no idea because my Tesla Powerwall over here in my garage kept me running all night long as well as now into the day. So if you'll take a look here at what I got, this is my Tesla Powerwall. Uh, this is actually my Tesla Gateway, excuse me. Um, so this is where my automatic transfer switch is located. This is where my power wall pretty much intercepts uh, if the grid goes out. So you see this little main breaker. I'm gonna actually flip it. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna turn the lights on in my garage. So you guys can see, everyone can see the light. All right, I got a light on. I'm gonna come here, ready? Flip it, do you see the little flicker? Does everyone see my lights still on? Absolutely, lights are still on. Okay, so um, let's go inside, see if everything's working in the house. All right, so we got lights here, lights here. We got a three-year-old, three-major that's gonna chase me here in a second. Got lights in the pantry. Everything seems to be working just fine. Okay, so how did this happen, y'all? This happened because I have solar on my roof as well as this Tesla power wall in my garage, okay? And essentially, I have all of my home backed up in this smart electric panel called a span. This is a unnecessary add-on but for energy geeks like myself, gotta go all out, okay? So this smart electric panel allows me to pull up a separate app where I can see all of my energy consumption at the individual breaker level, and then I can flip those breakers on and off through my phone, all right? Which allows me to do what they call load shedding and shifting and just mess with the consumption in my home so I can extend the life and the durability and the longevity of those batteries. Um, so right now I'm good to go. Um, I'm actually back feeding the grid, which is helping the grid. Uh, I'm providing more power than my house needs. One of the really cool things about Powerwall is this feature called Stormwatch. So I can basically, if the National Weather Service sends out an alert stating that you have some sort of uh, advisory or a huge uh, storm coming in your direction, they will allow you to charge your battery from the grid at 3.3 kilowatts per hour. So if your battery was at 0%, it'll charge to 100% in about four hours, okay? Um, that's awesome. And um, even during the outage situation that happened this past day, where I had a total of about five, uh, I, I'm sorry, about six hours of power losses, uh, my power walls continued to go. When the sun came out, they started trickle charging the batteries. And then when the grid came back online, they started charging from the grid. All right, so really cool stuff, y'all. Anyways, this is all real. This is not fake. My name is Mo Abdallah. I'm the founder of Good Faith Energy, a local five-star rated solar and storage company, Tesla certified in power wall and solar roof. Give us a call. 469-209-5910. Send us an email, mo, M-O, at goodfaithenergy.com. I'll shoot you over to my team of specialists. We'll take good care of you. Fill out the link 
below and uh, stay safe and warm during these tough times. We know that power outages are not fun for anyone involved, but get your hands on one of these and you won't regret it. You will be very, very happy uh, that you went solar and you went power wall. Thank y'all for tuning in. Stay safe, stay warm. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Like it, share it with your friends and family, and we'll see you all in the next video.